Hey guys, welcome back to the Hat House. Really appreciate you tuning back in. Got a big load going out today, about 50 hats. And I show you every single hat that goes out here. Some of them are $40 hats, some 30, some 20, some 10, and some five. I'll show you every single hat. Some of them you might want to pick up. Some of them you might want to pass next time you're out. Also in this video, I'm going to kind of go over my new strategy. I've been doing a lot of cross-listing. And the real reason that I'm doing cross-listing is just because the promoted listing fees that we have to keep paying, uh, it just keeps going up and up. And so I'm really cross-listing, dropping my promoted listings down a little bit. I go over that a little bit more in the beginning of the video before we ship the hats out. I'd really like to hear kind of what you guys are doing uh, as far as what you're doing with promoted, uh, how you're promoting, if you're doing any cross-listing. Cross really like to hear what you guys are doing and uh, see where the community is kind of headed. And if I'm just doing something different or uh, we're kind of all on the same page here. It's going to be a busy week for us here at the Hat House too. I have an unboxing to do, which my guy says this is the best box that he sent me maybe ever. So you're really going to want to check that one out. I'm excited to open it. I'm hoping there are some really great hats in there that'll flip for some good money. So we'll see you inside, see what's sold this weekend, and then later this week, we'll see what's coming in. Good morning, guys. I'm Steven. I'm Mary. Welcome back to the Hat House. And, uh, so something a little bit different that we've been doing, I kind of lowered the promoted listings and we've actually been selling less on eBay. But uh, this past week on Friday, Mary helped out and probably did, how many listings did we do? Uh, we did 180 altogether, cross posted. We did those on Poshmark and Macari uh, were the main ones. We also put some of them on, what's the other one? Depop. Depop. Depop usually gets a couple of sales too, but we kind of went heavy in uh, to kind of counteract the promoted listing fees that have really been, uh, that we've really been having to pay a lot of promoted listing fees. So instead of paying more fees to eBay, we've kind of put some more items everywhere else uh, to kind of make up for those sales. And this weekend, since we did so many, uh, we sold, what is that about? 10 or 12 of our hats that are going out today uh, went off of either Macari, Depop, or Poshmark. So it was really exciting to see that, all the hard work that she did this weekend of cross-listing those things, uh, getting us extra sales, and not having to pay an extra 10 or 15% on each one of those as an eBay promoted listing uh, was really good for us too. So uh, the sales are down a little bit for us on eBay, but we're trying to make up for it by getting on these other sites and it's actually saving us money on the promoted listing site. So uh, you'll see all the hats that sold today and we'll see you in the video. All right, guys, let's get to packing. Uh, the first order that went out was actually a combined order. I don't know if I'll be able to show them all on the same page, but I'll try. We had an ACDC snapback hat. We had an Adidas dad hat. We had an Under Armour dad hat and then another Adidas strap bag hat. These all went with a pair of uh, Adidas sweatpants that we uh, sold on our uh, clothing site. Some Adidas pants. And the promotion we run in our store is basically it's a dollar shipping for the next item. So you pay full shipping on the first item and then every item you buy after that is only an additional dollar uh, so you can really save on the shipping costs uh, and it usually comes out to about right um, If you order two items, it usually comes to a pound So it knocks it up to the six seven dollar range for us and our hats ship at five ninety five So that takes it to six ninety five and then as it goes up We might make a dollar here or there, but it really gets pretty close uh, if anybody ever orders like 15 20 hats then usually I'll work with them on the shipping price that way, but uh, for just uh, four or five six orders It usually comes out about right All right next up was a Chicago Bulls fitted this was uh, 
Adidas, I believe. Yeah, Adidas fitted, stretch fit. All right, next up was a Puerta de la Varta strap back hat. Still had the tags on it. All right, next up was a UNCG. And honestly, I don't remember off the top of my head which university this is at the moment. And I'm sure it'll be right up here. Next up, we had a Lowe's Team Racing. Just a regular strap back, strap back hat with the flames. Jimmy Johnson. Next up was a Batman Dad Hat. Next up was a Seattle Mariners. This was a kid's. Flex fit, new era. Next up was a Washington Huskies, Nike, snapback. Really great shape. These do really well. Next up was a vintage MGD, Miller Genuine Draft, rope, strap back hat. This style is really doing well right now, the rope truckers. Even with the strap backs, the style is in. Next up was a Vans surfing hat. Surfing is just a little different than you usually see on the Vans. This is in really good shape. Next up was a Harry Potter Hufflepuff keeper hat. Next up was a Pittsburgh Pirates fitted new era. This was seven and a quarter. Next up was an interesting one. I think somebody just had this embroidered on the hat. It said Dolls Kill. Still sold. Next up was a Harvard Dad Hat. Next up was a pair of Wisconsin Badgers hats. One strap back. Next up was an Oregon State Nike hat. Next up was a nice vintage, kind of funny trucker, the Dix Logging, Oregon. Next up was a Oakland A's fitted, seven and three eighths. Next up was a vintage Eddie Bauer, call it like a trapper hat, has the big ear flaps on it. Really warm, wool, lined, insulated. Here's the Eddie Bauer tag. Really nice hat. I think this went for around 30. These always do really well. Next up was a Field of Burn, Bernie Sanders hat, snapback. Next up was a DC Shoes, nice Hawaiian all over. And this one was actually by Mitchell and Ness. Snap back. Next up was an Adidas five panel hat. Strap back. Really clean. This one sold pretty fast. Next up was uh, Oklahoma State Cowboys. Nike team hats. Flex, flex fit. Next up is a nice hat brand that usually goes for over 20. You may not have seen it before. It's called Native Northwest. Had this nice big patch on it. It was super clean too. Snap back. Next up was the Arizona Cardinals, New Era fitted. Seven and five eighths. Next up was a Washington Wizards, snap back. Mitchell and Ness. Next up was just a generic duck honey hat. Had a duck patch on it. Next up was a Seattle Seahawks fitted, six and seven eighths, new air. Next up was a Dekine Surfing, snapback. Next up was a nice vintage Shasta Livestock. If you watched my How to Clean a Vintage Hat video, this one was in there. You can see we got it pretty clean. Nice big patch on this one. This side always sells really well. All right, next up was just a Nike uh, like feather light hat. People are always looking for certain color combinations. These always sell really fast. 
Next up was a hat that I told you to be on the lookout for, and it's the soccer hats. So this is actually is Port Portugal, Portuguese football club. Always want to look for these crests and then track down exactly what soccer club it is. These Nike hats will sell for twenty to thirty dollars. Really good to keep an eye out for. Next up was Chicago Cubs, forty-seven brand strap back. It's a little different logo than you usually see. Next up is a vintage New York Yankees. This one was asked actually by Anco. Snapback. I think this one still went for over thirty dollars. Vintage New York Yankees hats, fast and easy. Next up was another vintage New York Yankees hat. This one was New Era. It was fitted seven and five eighths. Next up, San Diego Chargers New Era snapback, super clean. Next up was another Washington, Washington State this time. Washington State Cougars, Nike hat, flex fit. Next up was the uh, Oregon Ducks, Nike team hat, strap back. Next up was uh, a flat cap you want to be on the lookout for in a brand. This one is Wiggins. Really nice wool flat cap. This one was a little different too. It had the ear flaps on the side. Kind of a winter flat cap style. Has the logo on the side there too. Nice plaid color. Did really well. Next up was the Dodgers. We just unboxed the other day. Had the payday on the back. Pretty cool hat. Fitted. Seven and an eight. Next up was the Outdoor Research Kids hat. Kids winter hat. Next up was uh, Dutch Mafia trucker hat. Next up was a uh, Brooklyn Dodgers. This one's kind of rough, but still sold pretty well. Uh, it was by Roman, had the leather sweatband in it. This one was size seven, yeah, seven and a half. Next up, I happen to have two of the same hat in my store. And the Customer bought both of them, if I can get a hold of them. They were uh, Betty Boop hats, strap back. Next up was a Baby Yoda hat, Star Wars, Disney. Alright, next up was a Marvel hat. Snap back Marvel. Had all the characters on the bill. This one was kind of rough. All right, next we got everything not going out on eBay. This is everything from Macari, Poshmark, and I think a Depop. First up was a Patagonia. Next up was a Pendleton. Had a nice Southwest embroidery on it. This is a snapback. There's the Pendleton tag. Next up was a Vans hat. This is a little different than most vans. This is like a corduroy. So that's why it went for a little bit more. And a really cool embroidery. Next up was the United States Olympic team. I think this one went for over 30. And when you find the special Nike hats, it's okay to mark them up. This had track down, track town, USA on the side. Oregon on this side. Next up was another New York Yankees. That makes three this weekend. Just a regular dad hat. Next up was a really cool Topps special edition Seattle Mariners hat. It was kids though, or I could have sold it for a little more. This was a really cool hat. It's been returned once. Sold it again. I labeled it as kids and they said it was still too small. Next up was a uh, Patagonia. This one's kids sizing two. Snapback hat. Next up was a Nike women's snapback. Nice pink and purple colors. Next up was a uh, San Francisco Giants. Size eight. You never know about the size eights. Sometimes they'll sell for more. Sometimes they'll take forever to sell. Not a very common size. 
Big hat approved. Next up was a nice vintage in and out burger hat. This one's really well made. It's not like a cheap hat. It's, it's made nicely. I think it was official. Next up was a Chipotle hat. Strap back Chipotle. Next up was a Polo ASSN hat. Last up was a Yeti Coolers hat. Snapback. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out today. We really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed because we've got a lot of content planned. Uh, this week, I should be able to uh, drop an unboxing video, about 100 vintage hats. Uh, there were some really good sports hats in there. Uh, it's supposed to be my best box so far. You can be the judge, and I'm sure I'll judge it pretty harshly too. And then also I'm going to do some deep dives into some hat brands, uh, some styles and brands that you need to be on the lookout for that flip really quick on eBay. So make sure you're subscribed and be on the lookout for those from the Hat House. We'll see you again next time.